I ride. I seize the gravity waves of the Big Bang itself and ride the universe. I am a ghost, a glimpse too fast to be perceived by human sight. I slingshot through an expanding cosmos. And welcome back to Neon Fastique on this week's episode, Collecting the Power Cosmic. Yes, a visual showcase of the Silver Surfer in print throughout the decades. Why the Silver Surfer? Well, apart from the Surfer being an awesome character and a personal favourite of mine, if you're not already aware, coming January 2022, new from Marvel Comics, the Silver Surfer Rebirth. Yes, that's right, we're getting a limited series of the Silver Surfer and I cannot wait. And it is well overdue. Now, my collection is by no means a comprehensive collection, but I will say there'll probably be a few short series or issues that you may have forgotten about. But uh, we're going to go through them, take a look. We're going to start at issue 100 from volume 3 and move our way through the decades. So let's take a look. Okay, so here we go. Now, as I stated earlier, we're going to start at issue 100 from volume 3. Okay, so that's January 1995. And volume 3 finishes at issue 146, which is November, December 1998. Okay, so basically what we'll do is we'll quickly run through these so you can see each and every cover of each issue. Okay, so let's get started. Here we are with the final issue of the Silver Surfer Volume 3, that is issue 146. And as you can see, we have a couple of annuals attached either side. Now, availability for the latter half of Volume 3 of Silver Surfer is scarce to say the least. Now, I had to use both UK comic book shops and American comic book shops just to complete this run. Now, there are a few issues that are limited print runs, but issue 146 itself only 25,000 copies were ordered worldwide. Now you do the maths, but that is not a lot, is it? And another reason for a 
the scarce availability, especially for us here in the UK, was when both Marvel and DC in the late 90s stopped offering retailers sale or return. So a lot of the smaller news agents where we used to obtain these American comic books just stopped stocking them literally overnight. So hence why the difficulty in collecting this series. But anyway, let's move on and take a look at some of the other short series featuring the Silver Surfer. Now, some of these titles featuring the Silver Surfer are quite varied, as are some of the smaller limited series, but definitely worth reading and further still, definitely worth collecting. So we're going to take a look at these in no particular order. OK, so as you can see, first up is a Marvel What If title. So what if the Silver Surfer possessed the Infinity Gauntlet? So if you're a fan of the Infinity Gauntlet story, like most of us are, this is a really interesting read. OK, and it's become a bit of a key book amongst collectors over the last 18 months, but definitely one worth picking up. OK, now up next, we have the Silver Surfer versus Dracula. So this is a one shot. But if I remember rightly, I think the story is actually a reprint from the original Dracula run. But again, another cool issue. Now, up next, we have another What If Silver Surfer issue. So what if the Silver Surfer had not escaped Earth? So if you're a fan of the Fantastic Four, you're instantly going to know what this story is about. But again, Another interesting issue and peaked with the WandaVision Disney show because obviously this features Mephisto. Up next, we have another short series which has been featured on my channel before, but I love this story. So this is the Amazing Spider-Man issue 430. So obviously this is the first appearance of the Carnage Cosmic, or as I like to call him, the Cosmic Carnage featuring the Silver Surfer. It's great. If you've not read this, do. This is fantastic. Now, so that's the first appearance, issue 430. And then we have 431, which concludes this story, but it doesn't end there. Okay, we have another What If title featuring the Carnage Cosmic. So this particular issue ties into the two previous. Okay, but I can't stress enough how good this story is. Now, up next, we have another one shot Spider Man team up featuring the Silver Surfer. Okay, so this is from 1995. I have another great little story. And now leads us into a couple of short story arcs. So this is Star Masters. OK, so this is the first issue from 1995. Also featuring another favourite character of mine, that of Beta Ray Bill. OK, so this is issue one. Now, it only lasted three issues. So we have issue two and then issue three. But to conclude this story, you need to pick up Cosmic Powers Unlimited. So this is another short series featuring the Silver Surfer. Features shorter stories inside. There's a great one with the Silver Surfer and Thanos, but it also concludes Star Masters. Okay, so that's issue one, issue two, issue three. I think this is five actually. Issue four, and yes, issue five. So another great short story or series to collect featuring the Silver Surfer amongst others. Okay. Up next, we have another one shot. So Dangerous Artifacts. So this was great. Written by Mon Mars, Claudio Castellini. Fantastic. Really enjoyed this. Now, some of these you don't tend to see too often, unfortunately. Now, we have a two issue set, uh, the Silver Surfer. So this is featuring Doctor Doom. And I think... I could be wrong here, but I think this reprints us an earlier story from the Fantastic Four, but I'm not 100%. But again, this story is worth reading. Okay. Now then, we have issue one of Captain Universe featuring the Silver Surfer. Now, this became quite a key issue during the run of Donny Cates' King in Black. Okay. But uh, it's well worth a read and it explains a little bit as well about the cosmic power, the uni power. Now, we have another one shot, the Silver Surfer, Inner Demons, one that you don't tend to see too often and that leads us to Galactus the Devourer another short series which this one was really difficult to collect and get all I think it's six issues if I remember rightly so this is issue one issue two issue three issue four issue five I think it's a six issue run. Let's check. And issue six. Okay, so this is another great little story. And finally, well, I say finally. So we have another two issue limited series, The Silver Surfer. Now this one is always on 
uh, collector's list. Another great story featuring the artist Morbius. And lastly, Prodigal Son. So this particular story, I think it's you need another four issues as Guardians of the Galaxy, etc., to finish this series. But there you go. So that was just a quick look at some other titles featuring the Silver Surfer because if you're like me, when you look up anything to do with the Silver Surfer, all you see is the first volume. But I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at some of these other issues featuring the Silver Surfer. I know I have. But anyway, as always, thank you very much for your time for watching. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate that. But take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>